All right, guys. It's time to show them what we got. Hey, what's up, Indian Nation? It's your boy, Indian Nation, and we are here for our seventh week of team prep. I should probably go turn on a, a light because y'all can't see Jack because I'm so dark. Y'all can't see me. I'm really light-skinned, but, you know, I'm, I'm still dark enough to the point you can't see me at nighttime. But I come alive, and we are here. Whoa! Guys, we just came off the best win, I think, of the season. One old Combuskin came through, and uh, let me just give special shout-outs to this team. This team just was put together so well. Uh, Mega Guard, Titania, Vesuvius, Chicken Finger, Herbisaur, Trojan, and Aquata. Y'all came through. I really appreciate it. But now, but now we are here. Uh, la, la, la. Now we are here for that week seven against uh, another one of those guys that we have to face. And he is, he is one of the best, in my opinion. He's ranked number two in the power rankings. Tied with Aki after Aki's loss last week to myself. But as of last week, we are now officially the only undefeated team left. But I do have to say one thing, guys. Are you ready for anything else that comes our way? We basically, at this point, have just clinched playoffs. Like, I think the standing stand as us as a we're undefeated and on the next seat or the next possible person that can eliminate us is three and three so i think if we just get a win i think we just have to beat the swaddles and we're in playoffs which is week 10 so literally i can lose anything but week 10 that's how i'm looking i just need to win one more game and i'm in the playoffs basically in a nutshell one game playoffs there's no way i don't clinch because i'll tie with someone and i already have a better in-division record i'd have to lose to him my differential's already good, so I did get 6-0 a couple times. It's, there's, I, I just, I basically have clinched playoffs. It's not mathematically there yet, but I basically have clinched playoffs. There's no way I'm out of playoffs at this point. But, we are going up against the Brooklyn Blastoise, coached by Sheer Force, the league creator. And he just came off a boom! My gosh, he just 6 0 someone last week. His Mega Sableye got every freaking kill. Well, he is rocking out with Mega Sableye, Sylveon, Keldeo, Victini, Infernape, Haxorus, Metagross, Amoongus, Dotrio, Gastrodon, Jinx, Crustle, and Ampharos. Now, if you don't know our team by now, man, you should. Because we have Mega Gardevoir, Heatran, U Thunderous Eye, Milotic, Lucario, Hydreigon, Venusaur, Registeel, Aerodactyl, Ninetales, Sandslash, and Combuskin. We're going to go back to our old ways and bring back the Christina Zeus combo because they just work way too well together. But we got Hyper Voice, Hidden Power Steel. Yes, you heard me right. Hidden Power Steel. Energy Ball, Calm Mind. Mega. Gardevoir, Titania is here. Rocking a beautiful 8 in that HP stat, 252 in special attack, modest nature with 248 in speed. Because we want to be able to outspeed a couple things. But we want to be able to hit that Mega Sableye as hard as we freaking can. If we can hit that Sableye hard, who knows what gonna I mean like I mean hard. Hybrid voice? We want to be modest, we want to be max. We want to have a couple calm lines up. We just blast the thing. He's gonna probably rock Shadow Ball this week. He's most likely going to rock Shadow Ball this week. Because of our Mega Gardevoir. That's probably what he has on his sleeve. Now also, I expect um, something like the Sylveon to have something crazy. Um, something like that. But we're gonna we're gonna have we're we're ready. We're ready for this team. I think we're ready for this team. Hidden Power Steel is gonna come through. I haven't calculated it yet. I should probably get let me open let me open a calculator and show show you guys what we're show you guys what I mean by this. A Mega Gardevoir. We'll just say VGC 15 Mega Gardevoir. Which Definitely is an our Mega Gardevoir. That's nowhere close to where my Mega Gardevoir is rocking with. But we got 8 in that. We are modest. We do have 248 in speed. 0 in that. Okay. Versus a Sylveon. We'll say VGC Choice Specs. Yo. Oh, that's in Specs. That's why. I was so confused on why that did more. Okay. So we, and we are rocking out with Hidden. Power steel to a non? Oh my gosh! Okay, never mind. That does nothing. I mean, it does something. I'm just saying, if we can get to plus one or plus two in this in this battle, strong feeling we're gonna. Hidden power steel is kind of useless. Not gonna lie. I thought it was useful, but hyper voice still does more at this point. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And probably use something more useful. 
like hmm. let's use heal bell we're gonna use a clear we're gonna we're gonna rock heal bell just in case something gets burned something gets paralyzed we have that heal bell to help us out but we are also rocking out with a quad next up our my Lotic leftovers holding with my marble scale with the scald recover mirror coat and toxic we are not running ice beam because there's no purpose to run ice beam this week there's nothing that ice beam hits besides the hacks wrist that really doesn't really it doesn't bother me that much I'd rather hit it with the scald and burn it than uh go for the ice beam and it's not going to do as much as i want it 252 in hp 252 defense bold nature with four in special defense no special attack investment because all we have is scald we want to just be there to be there next we have christina army holding the choice guard for synchronized rocking dazzling gleam and nasty plot energy ball and trick yes you heard it trick we're rocking trick right right davion's a freaking mind blown right now because i'm freaking mind boggled we're gonna 252 hp 252 special attack four and special defense we want to be able to live a hit and then just blur but 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 trick trick a choice scarf probably on to the sylveon so we can get rid of some specs and then probably dazzling gleam because that's some that's some nice damage um, Victini also, uh, mm, 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 mm. I take it back. Metagross would probably be the best. I think the trio Gastrodon would be ideal to get it on Crustle so that we can catch him on that, um, Shell Smash if he wants to bring it, but I highly doubt he will. I'm just saying Trick, I think Trick's gonna come in here. You played these shenanigans against me and I'm trying to bring the shenanigans against him. Next up we have our Black Sludge holding Venusaur, or Herbasaur, our Venusaur, rocking Chlorophyll with Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, and Leech Seed. He's here to basically be... The same as Aquata, just be like a nuisance, be um, be there to be there. Uh, rocking 180 in HP, 252 special attack, modest nature with 76 in speed. Uh, next up we have Fox Face, our Nine Tails. Nine Tails always comes, but never really hits the field. I don't think it, Nine Tails hit the field once this season. Uh, I should probably move this level. Okay. Rocking that Sunny Day Calm Mind Energy Ball Flamethrower with uh, Heat Rock with 252 special attack, 252 speed, and four special defense. Last but not least, we have Zeus, our leftovers holding Prank Stuff. Prankster. He's just a prankster with Grass Knot, Thunderbolt, Sludge Wave, and Taunt. So we're going to try to taunt the Mega Sableye. So all you can use is Shadow Ball. Maybe go into Herbasaur uh, or Fox Face. Get that sunny day up. Go to Herbasaur and try to be a nuisance because uh, he has no Leech Seed resistance besides Amoongus. And if he does decide to bring the Amoongus, we're just going to fire off Sludge Bombs at that point. And the only resistance he has is Metagross. So, you know, at this point, we just want to Leech Seed, Toxic, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain. I think it's a good nuisance set. But review, we have Titania, our Mega Gardevoir, uh, Aquata, our Melodic, Me Christina, our Mew, Herbasaur, our Venusaur, Foxface, our Ninetales, and Zeus, our Thunderous. We're ready. I spelled Zeus wrong on purpose, guys, because I spelled it wrong the first time I used it, so I just left it wrong because it was funny as heck. But we're going to try to get this win. Um, he's a scary team. He's a good battler. Uh, his wins haven't really been narrow besides 1-1-0. One, one, oh. Like, he won 1-0, oh, then won 4-0, oh, 4-0, oh, lost 0-4, oh, then won 4-0, oh, then won 6-0. Oh. So all his wins have been pretty up there in range. Whereas our wins, on the other hand, have been 4-0, 2 Wow, we had three 3-0s in a row. Yeah, like, we haven't had crazy wins. Like, that 4-0 was the biggest win we've had all season. But we're sitting at the top of the time. Because, you know, if we lose this game, it's whatever. I'll be okay with it. Um... Undefeated is not my goal. My goal is to make the playoffs. And my goal is to win the win the entire league. So that's why we're here. At this point, my goal is to win the entire league. My goal at first was to go was to have a winning season, and we've already completed that. We already have a winning season, so I'm happy with how I played so far. So now the goal has to be raised, and the goal now is to make playoffs and win a championship. So we want to take home the crown. Let's go, Noiverns. We're gonna fight. Leave a like at the bottom of this video if you did enjoy our team prep. If you're happy that your team is undefeated, you're about Noiverns undefeated. Kill that like button. We want to be able to win this league. Who who else do you want to take the crown but your Nevada Noivern? Well, we got this, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that, I'm going to hop up out of here. Thank you so much for watching this video. To the nation from the Noivern Nation, I'm out.